we've got Bethany who weighs 440 newtons. So that's remember, gravity is going to be forced downward. This is 440 newtons. But then she's got this hammock at two different degrees tied to two trees. The left rope makes a 45 degree angle. So this is 45 degrees. And that's the tension here. And then the left one, or the right one, pardon me, makes a 30 degrees. We're going to call this tension on the left side, and this is tension on the right side. And you're going to have to do systems of equations and then solve for the ones, both the left and the right. So this is a tricky one. If you watch my instructional video, I basically did a problem like this. Um, so th the key thing is the sum of the forces in the x direction have to add up to zero, and the sum of the forces in the y direction have to add up to zero. So the y is, you know this number. In the y direction, you know that you've got 440. So this is going to be 440, 440 equals, now this is going to be this plus this, right? So this is called this F Y. R, the force in the y direction on the right side, and this will be the force y left. And these are going to be the sines, sines of the angles times that, right? So you can say this would be equal to T, I'm going to do this one, TL times sine 45 plus TR sine so that's equation number one. For the x direction, it's this has to, and this is just this and this have to add up to zero, or this minus this. So I would say T L cos 45 minus T R cos 45 adds up, not 45, this should be 30. They add up to zero. So now I have two equations. If you want to call this x, l, the tl is x, the tr is y, tl, and then x and y. You have two equations and two unknowns. You have to then substitute, graph. There's lots of ways you could do this to solve this problem. So it's not terribly difficult. Now the math, you may want to like figure out what cos 45 is and cos 30 and put real numbers in here. And that might simplify you solving this problem. But then use the idea that you have two unknowns and two equations, or that you can use a substitution or a graphical method to solve for the answer. Houston, we don't have a problem.